What's up, guys? In this video, I've got a free play for you in the Bears Panthers game. And if you're on this channel, you're probably pumped for this game because I've been giving out free picks all week, and two of them have hit halfway, and they've gone two for two. And then we just need Bryce Young and Adam Thielen to get more than their projected totals. So if Young and Thielen can throw for 224 and receive 74, which is highly correlated, if we get one big pass to Thielen, we are in the money. We make $1,000 on each play. So I have two plays that are halfway green. Last night, we hit Smith and uh, Larvidane under. And man, Smith only threw for 50 yards. Is that fucking serious? How do you play quarterback for a game and only throw 50? He must, man, he must have got pulled or something. I didn't, I didn't watch because it was Wednesday night college football, and, and I just didn't want to watch that and see that. I mean, I mean, we were taking unders. The guy got 50 yards. I'm sure if you watched it, it wasn't that fun, but it did feel good because it was like it was like 8:30 p.m. I'm like, this dude still has 20 yards. We're chilling, man. It felt good the whole way through. They didn't come close at all. So just wanted to put that out there. Bryce Young and Adam Thielen. And, you know, I, I've thought about how I want to approach today, knowing that I have those two banked. I would say if you have a lot of money coming in on Thielen and Young, what I would look to do is I'd probably take them together and take them less. And then what I would do is is take Bajent and his favorite receivers more. And Bajent, since he took over at quarterback I think three weeks ago, he's got three starts now. And Komet has been getting fed the last two games. DJ Moore has been getting fed. 44, 55, 54. This number's a little higher because they do expect it to be a little easier against the Panthers than it's been against you know the Saints or the Chargers defense. Saints and Chargers defense is a little bit better than the, the Panthers defense. But I like him to go to his receiver one. And I also like Cole Komet here, right? So I'm going to take, you can kind of pick your poison there and build a four-man for 10x. But what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm just going to go all in. If I lose, I lose. Not the end of the world. But I don't want to sit here and hedge and say, hey, I've got two grand if Bryce Young gets more. You know, I want to go all in. And I'm telling you guys, you can do it this way right here. Like, this would be a nice little four-man for you. I'm telling you guys that because some of y'all are seriously all in and you need this to hit. If you need that to hit, then go the other way. That way you're diversified and no matter what happens, you should be good. But for me, I've got just under 12 grand in there. I've got a lot of plays that I have down. I'm not anywhere close to going bankrupt. I've made so much money this season that I can afford to get a little aggressive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them more and then I'm also going to throw a third player in here from Carolina. That way I can make this a six-man entry. So I'll click through them just so you can see what we're looking at. Chark hasn't got much since Bajent's taken over. Mingo had one good game. Darnell Mooney. Whoa, Darnell Mooney. Actually, that might be a good one right there too. It's tough to say because I like Komet a lot and I like Mooney a lot too. So we could go Mooney there. But what I really wanted to do was go Hayden Hurst. And, and, you know, I'm glad that I clicked through that because I was thinking of doing Hurst and then doing a little six-man. But I think what I'm going to do is look at Tunyon. Tunyon's getting fed as well. This is 5.5. This is a little more risky, even though Tunyon's getting fed. Six yards? <laughs> Shit. There's a lot of good plays in this game, guys. There's a lot of good plays, but I think what I'm going to do is go Mooney. And man, it, it's really impressive to me how well Bajent spreads the ball out. Because when um, when Justin Fields is quarterback of this team, it's all DJ Moore. DJ Moore's the only guy getting the ball and a little bit of Komet. But when we looked at those role players for Chicago, you got Tunyon, you got Mooney. Let's just, let's just see if what Roshan's doing. Roshan's not getting the ball. So Bajan isn't checking down. He's probably taking off and running is why. And then, yeah, not a ton for his uh, running backs. That's interesting. So what you could do is you could do Bajan over on rushing. So, look, let me lock this in real quick. I like this play a lot. It's four Chicago Bears, and then it's Thielen and Young. I even wonder if I should hedge here, considering I get two grand if that hits. 
Um, it's tricky, huh? It's very tricky, boys. I might, I might look to hedge. Let's see. Ah, oh, man, the payout shift is there. If I do all more, let's see if it's shifted. It's not shifted. Okay. Well, that makes up my decision for me. So 80 to win two grand on the six man right there. Boom. And then I'm going to clear this out. Hopefully. Yeah, place a new entry. And then what I'm thinking you could also do here is you could take the Bears running backs and you could take their receiving less and then you could do Bajent rushing yards more. And the idea is instead of him checking the ball down to his running backs, once he goes through all his progressions for his tight ends and receivers, he's taking off and running. And it is a bit random when quarterbacks check down to their running back. Like stuff can come up where a linebacker gets in his way and he, he shovel passes it to a running back to avoid taking a sack. Like there's a little bit of randomness there, but this is definitely connected. If you take these two less and Bajent rushing more, you're in a good spot. And, and I mean, the guy ran for 24 yards and he ran for 70. So I feel really confident about him rushing in this game. You could. This is a good standalone play just by itself as well. Is, is Bajent rushing? I like that play a lot, honestly. And what you could do with that standalone play is you could go to other NFL games and you could find players who are part of good trios. So Baker Mayfield and Brock Purdy would be in that category. And you could go Baker Mayfield and then you could go his top two targets, which would be Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. And then what you do here is you build this out right here. So I, I like I like Bajent rushing a lot. So what I'm going to do, I am limited to where I can only do $100 on each player. So I'm going to do 20 on this one. But I like that play a lot. Oh, man. So it's not letting me put money on it. But you guys at home, this is a good little play. If, if you do $5 a play or whatever, I like Bajent rushing a lot. So... I would go with that, but I'm I'm t I'm maxed out. I can't do Bajan anymore after that six man that I threw down to win two grand. But that's another good way to play it. So Bajan rushing, and then this six man right here, eighty bucks to win two grand. Let's freaking go! And the and the only reason I do eighty bucks is because I am severely limited. That's the most it'll let me. So anyone who's new here, just understand that like if you win on prize picks you will be limited. Before I go, I wanted to let you know that I threw down a pretty big play on the Sleeper Fantasy app. I put down 200 to win 2,034 on this play. If you do these three steps, get Sleeper Fantasy, use promo code Lambo, deposit at least 25 bucks, send me a screenshot of your account. I'll send you the uncensored play here. I've, I've blocked it out with the white uh, writing there so I blocked out what the play is and then this is a mystery player down here so there's no way y'all can copy me but do that and then I'll not only send you the play but I'll send you 30 days of my VIP light for free I'm doing VIP light to test some things out it's normally 15 bucks a month I'm probably gonna bump it up to 50 bucks a month honestly um, but yeah you guys can hop on that you'll get grandfathered in as well if you get on that VIP if I do raise the prices which I will 15 bucks is a good investment just to put 15 bucks in, start getting on the monthly. And then if I transition my full VIP over there, it's going to be insane the value you will have locked in. But my, my regular VIP is like 300 bucks a month normally. So if I end up using this service that distributes the picks through text message, then I'm going to obviously up the prices from 15 bucks. Otherwise, we just have thousands of people on it and we, we do have to keep VIP somewhat exclusive. So yeah, I mean, bottom line, get on Sleeper Fantasy, use promo code Lambo, and then text me a screenshot of your account balance, and I'll send you this play, and I'll send you uh, a link to where you can join the VIP Lite for free for a full month, so 30 days of VIP. So that's all I've got for you guys. It's $200 to win 2000 on that. Next time I see you guys, we will be a little bit or maybe a lot richer. I might be $6,000 richer, but you guys will be richer too. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.